Francis is defending one of his predecessors amid questions about a missing girl. Some new audio has now come to light. Here's ABC's Rhiannon and Alley. This morning, Pope Francis is defending John Paul II after the brother of a missing teenager linked her disappearance to the late Pope. Speaking in St. Peter's Square yesterday, Pope Francis said, I express a grateful thought to the memory of St. John Paul, who in these days has been the object of offensive and unfounded insinuations. Days earlier, the brother of Emanuela Orlandi aired an audio recording on Italian TV saying it was testimony from an Italian mobster that claimed John Paul II would secretly go out at night to harass underage girls. Vatican officials say the allegation lacks any evidence, clues, testimony, or corroboration. The 15-year-old daughter of a Vatican employee, Emanuela, seemingly vanished in 1983 after a music lesson in Rome. Some theories link her disappearance to the failed assassination attempt on John Paul II. Others link her case to a scandal involving the Vatican Bank. Emanuela was not an ordinary child. She was a Vatican girl. The Netflix documentary Vatican Girl explores the possible scenarios and provides new testimony from a friend who says Emanuela told her one week before she went missing that a high-ranking Vatican cleric made advances toward her. She decided to go on one of her walks in the Vatican Gardens. A person very close to the Pope had bothered her. The Vatican has denied any involvement in Emanuela's disappearance. In 2019, officials agreed to excavate a tomb inside Vatican City after Emanuela's brother claimed he got a tip, saying her remains could be there. But the tomb was empty. John Paul II's longtime secretary called the allegations false from beginning to end. Rihanna and Alley, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.